Come with me to the small British city of Derby for a very important event. Hi there. Welcome to Craft Manor. I've just got back from an incredible Tomb Raider event in Derby, celebrating Tomb Raider 3, where I met the voice of Lara Croft, scared the voice of Lara Croft, and met a real life Winston. So join me on this little adventure to the place where Tomb Raider began. But me out of drag, obviously. Have a look at this. So, I've just arrived in Derby, very excited for tomorrow. However, it is raining at the minute. But my view is amazing, I will show you now. Oh, isn't she beautiful, sweetheart? <laughs> Apparently it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, it's supposed to be sunny, so I'll be okay with what I'm wearing, my cosplay. I had to go buy an umbrella. I didn't even think it was raining, it's gonna rain today, but... Because that's what this is about as well. Obviously, the event it was to celebrate Tomb Raider, this year being a celebration of Tomb Raider 3. But this is just a great event for fans to meet up. I don't know how many people's gonna be there. For some reason, I feel like they have 300 tickets. So that's quite a lot of people. Let's hope there's sun so I can wear my cosplay. So, cause it's Tomb Raider 3, dark gray tank top, boots with red laces, a pretty shitty, but it will do. Um, gun harness, backpack, and the blue camouflage. And that's my buckle that I need to glue back on. I snuck a glue gun in. It, the, the weather's getting worse. This is actually troubling. And the red sunglasses. I'm not going to makeup. No way. I'm doing guy. Dude Raider, that's it. So the event's not until tomorrow, but a lot of people get here early, obviously. So I'll probably just meet up with some people today. Oh, it's clearing up a bit. That's good. That's good news. A few moments later. Um, um, what the bloody hell is going on? I've just realised that in the place that I'm in, the fucking lights don't fucking work. Okay, I'll just, I guess I'll just like sit in, sat, uh, sit in darkness all day. I am the angel of darkness now. I'm gonna have to move rooms. So I ran down to reception to ask for help. <sighs> right, just got back in. Okay, so. Uh -huh. how They never told me this, but this box is important. All right, you put your card in. Now you can use your lights. Why? I've never experienced that before in a hotel in my life. So, and look at how beautiful it's got now. The rain has gone. So I think we're gonna have a good day tomorrow. I'm off to the event where the event's been held tomorrow, but there's like a pre-event where people get to meet up. So I'm gonna do that and probably film some stuff. So yeah. And that never happened because I didn't film anything. Well, actually this is the only thing that I filmed. Yay. Happy birthday. Just Chris from Raidercast be wishing him happy birthday. <laughs> That was it. So the pre-event was phenomenal. Like it was absolutely amazing. So they had rented out one of the rooms in the cinema where there was four PlayStations playing Tomb Raider games in this room with Tomb Raider 3 being projected onto the wall. It was phenomenal. It was just a good way for people to like mingle and get to know each other. So it was really nice to meet people. And yet a very hilarious moment happened for me and Jake and Junior Matrix just sat playing Tomb Raider 3 and all of a sudden we just heard this massive smash of a glass behind us. It was very dramatic. Everyone went quiet in the room. And my reaction after like four seconds of silence, because the, the smash happened behind us, it was like this face in the game playing. I just went, girl, <laughs> so dramatic. I was a bit tipsy at that point, okay? I think we all was. But Jake was laughing about it the whole weekend, which was, I love, which I appreciate. Yes, I'm really glad that they do the pre-event because it's a wonderful way to meet people and break the ice and stuff. It's, and break the glass. So after a few drinks and quite a lot of conversation, I headed back to the hotel for some much needed rest. So I woke up in the morning to a glorious day, but I forgot that I hadn't actually finished putting my cosplay together. Greg's coffee, not too bad. So I needed to cut these boots a lot shorter so it was more like Lara's actual boots. So here's me speed running through that. This was literally 20 minutes before the event, by the way. So yeah, they don't look too bad, do they? Definitely better than before. Oh no, someone's been attacked by pigeons. <gasps> oh wow. And then it was off to the quad in Derby for the event. The first part of the event was the interview with Rihanna Pratchett, who was the writer on Tomb Raider 2013, Rise, and the comic books. Now, I wasn't that interested in this interview. I thought, oh, if I miss it, whatever, it's fine. <laughs> but I'm glad I didn't miss it because it was very enlightening. She's very honest, which I found very refreshing. For instance, she went into the fact that the Tomb Raider 
reboot could have been very different. Like there was supposed to be a heavy multiplayer element, like a group of Tomb Raiders that coexist on the island and they intertwine that kind of element. And what was even more interesting is that she actually admitted she didn't necessarily like the way the story went in Rise and quote, didn't make for a better story. So I do recommend that you watch the full interview, which is on Steve of War's channel. I have it linked in the description. I really do recommend it. It's very enlightening. I mean, how good is this Winston cosplay? Come on. So I'm gonna admit I missed 15 minutes of her interview because I wanted to go meet Judith before it got really busy. <laughs> <laughs> These are amazing. They're quite up. Oh my gosh. So does the MP5? Yeah, so does the MP5. Enjoy yourself. Alright? Typical me being unaware of my surroundings. I didn't realise she was stood next to me. So sorry, Judith. Out the way. Out the way. Out the way. Congratulations, you did it. Splendid, really good. I mean, how beautiful was that? Not only do I now keep that picture digitally and physically. Girl, why am I not got the picture? Yeah, not only do I have that image digitally and physically, I now have this wonderful clip of our interaction forever. Loads of people dressed up, which I thought was amazing. Here's a video of my sister filming and getting caught doing so. Here is the wonderful Jake talking to Winston. And then it was time to go for a social cigarette. Thank you, Jordan, once again for those, where another wonderful cosplayer wanted to take a picture together. But while this was happening, there was a huge protest happening literally across, across the street and there was police everywhere, which makes this next clip extra hilarious. <laughs> Exactly For the health pack, that's so cute. So we decided to do it anyway because come on, it's we need the picture. She very nicely let me hold that one. Oh, that pose. Let me go for that pose. And look at bless her, she had to lean into me because I posed, posing so hard in the other direction. I met the Tomb Raider. <laughs> I'm gonna get this signed as well, so I'm very excited. Look, she just slays. Whatever she does, she just slays. She must love this, because this is like, must bring back so many memories, positive. Is this a good angle? Do I look weird? Right, I'm telling you, this guy was so dedicated to his Winston cosplay that he carried his tray everywhere he went. I mean, literally, I saw him walking around all the time and he would always have his tray with him and it was actually quite heavy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes! Dedication. Dedication, that's why he won. This was Rihanna Pratchett's sign-in. This was just before the cosplay competition. <laughs> You're gonna win. Yeah. Oh, come on. You know you that's me telling the Winston that he's gonna win because I knew straight away. Here's Winston bringing me a bottle of water because I demanded it. No, I'm joking, it's not mine, but look how dedicated he is. I do reserve the right to put the Absolutely. Next was the cosplay competition, and I didn't realize, like, how competitive it was going to be. I was going to go to the event dressed in what I was dressed in regardless. I only heard about the, the competition like a week or something before. Some of the people that did this were phenomenal. The person dressed as the Medipack, Geek Raider as Golden Lara, phenomenal. And obviously Winston. I knew as soon as I saw him, I thought he was part of the event. I thought he was hired as part of the event. And then when I found out he was just a normal page patron and he was in the competition, I was like, you're gonna win straight away. I didn't realize it was filmed. I was on the I was on the BBC, like this, looking to the side. I didn't know I was being filmed. If I was being filmed, I would've been like this. Not like this. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Okay, next was Judith Gibbons interview, which was wonderful it was just wonderful to listen to her talk just hear hearing her voice because it's you know she sounds very similar to lara it was just wonderful to see the joy that it obviously brought her and the memories she has lots of positive memories from tomb raider you can tell here's some clips that we filmed but if you want to watch the full interview 
that is available in the description as well. So please do go watch it. It's phenomenal. I always say this line because it was my audition line. Go, and then I'm going to repeat it and you can judge me at how bad my Laura Croft expression is. Go for it. Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. <laughs> Pardon me, if that was just your way of trying the doors for me. I just I love that. Which one? Never me. Do you own a Nintendo Switch? Do you have like? <laughs> would this be your time to maybe venture <laughs> into this? This this. No, no. no. I think the saying is like, you have you have two you two have two left feet. I've got two left hands. There's absolutely no 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 nothing there. I'm afraid. No. <laughs> Leave it to the professionals. <laughs> But Tomb Raider stretched so far, hasn't it? I mean, do you... Yeah, definitely. What, what does Tomb Raider, as the global phenomenon, what does that mean to you, Judah? I just think it's proud for Derby. Yeah. I just think, you know, for, for this small group of people that uh, designed this game in, in, in Core Design, which was a not particularly big building, you know, and, and they worked so hard to think that it's global. Yeah. It's... Um, I don't know, it was, it was just amazing. And to be part of it was, was fab, you know. Getting this image signed by Judith just makes it so much more special. Look to Curse Craft as well. Not my real name. I was like, oh, what? it has to be the channel name. Are you serious? Yeah, that meant so much. Because it's an experience that we'll never forget. I will never forget it. It was such a good weekend. I just want to go back. I loved it. Last on the agenda and closing the event was the discussion with the Tomb Raider 3 development team. Now, I didn't film any of this, unfortunately, but I put a link into the description where you can watch the whole thing. So Tomb Raider 27, the event in Derby is something I will cherish forever. And I will most probably be going to the next, the one next year. If you haven't been and you're interested, please consider it. We get to meet people on the same mindsets, with the same interests. It's amazing, it's all the Derby stuff. Oh wow. There's like a little temple up here as well. It's awesome. And you get to meet fantastic people like Judith Gibbons, like come on. So if you're gonna go, I'll see you then. Okay, bye bye for now.